I've been putting in a lot of hours, working overtime, grinding all week. See, mama put it in my mind early, boy, you putting time early. Baby boy, you don't work, you don't eat. Yeah, nigga, baby fly, nigga, in a suit and tie, nigga, with a fresh pair of gators on my feet. Feeling really bossed up, yeah, I'm about to post up and let a nigga know what time it is with me. It's the time clock. I wake up early in the morning to get on my job. Brush my teeth, get on my knees and give my thanks to God I hit that door and ground running, boy, I need a check So that time clock is what I'm really hitting next I check my schedule to see just what's on my agenda Then go to putting in the hours like a real nigga Boss shit, I keep the operation really running Your boss shit, cause that bag, you just keep on coming I'm not a worker B, I got people that work for me So when I cut a bitch a check, no, it ain't hurting me Know what's up with me, a nigga always on this grind I'm putting in the hours, yeah, I'm talking overtime See, I've been putting in a lot of hours Working overtime, grinding all week See, mama put it in my mind Early boy, you putting time early Baby boy, you don't work, you don't eat Welcome to Limelight Conversations I'm your host, Troy D. Williams And we have a very special guest in the studio with us today So we're going to take you guys on a ride through the music industry With the multi-talented artist, Moon P you may have heard the thing, Moon P on the track. Moon P, what's good with you, my man? man first, of, first of all, I appreciate you. Allow me to, you know, come on and be a part of your show, man. It's a pleasure to be on here, right? For real, for real. I, up, I, I greatly appreciate the opportunity to be on here. Well, thank you for being on the show, mm -hmm. man. Anytime. You already know. Yeah, so we're going to talk about music today, man. I know you have, like, a wealth of knowledge just in the industry. I know you've... Uh, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the beginning. Now, I know you you got your degree from Full Sail. Yeah. So talk about that a little bit. Like, how did you get into music? Well, it, it, it actually, uh, my my big cousin, who's like my brother, Pokey, shout out to Pokey, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He used to always, when I was young, he used to always, hey, come in. It, it, we had a shed in the back of our grandma house, and he had the turntables, and he used to always have, like, Goody Mob instrumentals playing, and he'd be like, come on and rap, come on and rap. I'm like, nah, man, nah, man. Not too long after that, cuz got locked up. You know what I'm saying? He went up the road for a little bit. So I was like, you know what? All right, man, I got to carry the torch for my big brother. You know what I'm saying? Because I used to follow him every, you feel me? Anything he was involved in, I was involved in. You know what I'm saying? So it was just uh, me getting into the music was pretty much a way to honor him. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? And, and, I, and truthfully, I, I have talks with him. To this day, let them know, man, hey, I'm sorry you had to make that sacrifice, but I appreciate the sacrifice you made that got me into this because I, I, I love what I do. So, you know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, it, it took you having to go up the road for me to say, all right, I'm going to carry the torch. Right. So that's how I got into the, you know what so I'm saying? For a long time. Oh, yeah. It, okay. Oh, yeah, for a minute. Okay, now when did you start, at what point did you start like making albums and, and you know what I'm saying, actually recording songs? Well, I used to. I used to go to my cousin Craig, uh, and he had this like sampler. You know what I'm saying? And he used to always so I used to go over there on the weekends. You know what I'm saying? Can't go during the school school days, but I used to go over there on the weekends and like I like chop up like mystical samples and I, you know what I'm saying? Use his little sampler, and I take his um, I take that sample. And my grandma had this like little cassette player, so I'm I'm kind of telling my age, right? <laughs> hey, what, what is that? What is that? Yeah, <laughs> some of the young boys might not know, but she had this little cassette uh, tape player. But then she had the stereo system, so I would pop in the tape that I made the uh, sample from, put the little cassette player because I had a microphone, and and that's how I started <laughs> doing my. You know what I'm saying? I I do my raps. My my raps mostly started to just. Me being truthfully being angry, like that was my way to express myself without expressing myself. You know what I'm saying? So whenever I felt like I wanted to hit somebody, you know, uh, uh, I just go make a, a, a diss record real quick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and just sell them out real quick, and, it, and whatever they wanted to do from there, we just it, it just what it was. But that was, that was my way of, of getting tension off of me. So you feel me? But yeah, man. That that's how I started recording. You know what I'm saying? Going to shout out my cousin Chris. It's, it's, it's a lot of family oriented stuff. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's crazy. So music is an escape for you. Yeah, it, it, it always to, to me it's always been a self expression. You know what I'm saying? Because you know a lot of times we all go through stuff. 
people, that's that's what brings people, that's what makes people gravitate to your music. The fact that you you say some words that you're saying what they feeling. Mm -hmm. You're explaining how they feeling so they sit and they absorb the words that's being told in the music and they just like, they get lost in it because that's what they're going, whether it's at that time or whether they experienced something before, they get lost in the, you know, music because they can relate. So to me, right. music has always been self-expression. Right. And a, now you are, you're an artist in every sense of the word. Like you, yeah. you do pretty, you do a lot of stuff, man. Yeah. So t t talk a little bit about all the things that you do, like in the studio, music wise, creativity wise, like talk a little bit about that. Well, you know what I'm saying? Us in the quarters, we have a belief. You know, we test limits only to prove it ain't none. So, you know what I'm saying? So, you can't classify me as a rapper. You can't classify me as an R&B artist. You can't classify me as a producer. You can't classify... No, you feel me? If You want me to make a country song? You get what I'm saying? We 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 test limits only to prove that there are none. So, it's like, whatever whatever is necessary, whatever we need to get done, you know what I'm saying? And, and what I love is... The fact that how we work as a unit, you know what I'm saying? I, I remember uh, Earn came up with one part of the hook. I came up with one part of the hook, but T Red song, the part I came up with, I song the part Earn came up. You get what I'm saying? It's like we just, it's a collaborative effort of how things come together, man. And, you know, the creation of music is just a, a beautiful thing because you can just take a concept or, or an, an idea. And turn it into something, you know. You never know what what it can do, what how impactful it'll be. It's just, it man. There's nothing like music, man. I I just love it, me personally. But you like make beats. You like you 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 sing hooks. Like like yeah, you do everything, yeah, man. Yeah, whatever is necessary. <laughs> we test limits on it to prove it ain't right, right. You know what I'm So whatever is whatever is necessary, we we gonna. You feel <laughs> now, what's the biggest advantage of being able to do so many different things? Pretty much being able to do so many things. Right. I mean, when you look at it, if we say, man, we need somebody to sing on this hook, we ain't got nobody. Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, I need, I need a rapper for this. Okay, I'll do it. Man, we need a beat for this. Okay, I'll do it. You know what I'm saying? That's the advantage to, to be able to, and, and truthfully, not even the advantage, that's the blessing. You know what I'm saying? Because I know a lot of cats that get into the music just for the money. Oh, oh, they see, you know what I'm saying, the glitz and the glamour, and they think, oh, I want to I wanna ball out like that. To me, it's bigger than that, man. Like, it, it ain't about the money. It's just I love what I do, and, you know, my main purpose is to show my kids that, man, anything is possible. That's that's my purpose. That's my goal. It ain't about becoming a millionaire and, and, and splurging in cars and all that, man. You feel me? Right. You, it's, it's about showing my kids that, hey, you want something in life? Go get it. You know what I'm saying? Put God first and, and go chase after what you wanted. But, you know what I'm saying? Music in itself, man, I just, it, it just gives me a feeling. Some, some days, I don't have to tell me sometimes, hey, man, bro, you need to go to sleep, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I just love working on music, man. Sometimes I crank out 10 beats in a day. All the while, dropping two songs. All the while, you know what I'm saying? Mixing this and this. My girl get mad at me because I, I love it so much. You know what I'm saying? She, you need to make time for me. I, I, I will. I'm coming. But you know what I'm saying? Right now, I got to finish this. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's what I was going to ask you. How do you balance it out? Because I know you're in the studio a lot. How do you, how do you balance that out? Like, well, that's, that's, that's one thing I will say that I have to work on. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm a human. I'm a god, but I ain't god. You know what I'm saying? So, so I am flawed. And, and, you know, I acknowledge my shortcomings, so I do know that I have to create more of a balance, but I, I always look at it like there's a goal that I'm seeking to obtain, you know what I'm saying? And I'm, I always look at it like I'm willing to sacrifice today's pleasures for eternal pleasure. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I okay, it, I might have a session, they'll be like, man, I got $120 for you or whatever. The, okay, yeah, no, nah, I ain't running no sessions today. Only to work on something that I don't know if it's going to generate money or not. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? But I have a goal in mind. You know what I'm saying? And it's bigger than that 120. You get what I'm saying? So it's it's just, yeah, I, I, I know I have to create that balance, but it's hard. <laughs> it, you know, when you eat, sleep, saying. breathe, yeah. and, and, and I'm pretty sure you as an actor, you, you understand that, man. It's yeah. like 
is is I, I wake up, brush my teeth. All right, I'm going to the studio. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then about 16 hours later, I'm back in the crib. Hopefully. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because it could be 20 hours later. You know what I'm saying? It's just mu music is something special to me. You know what I'm saying? And and like I say, it's, it's self-expression. You know what I'm saying? Listening to, listening to cats. When I was younger, that they said stuff, in the, and I'm relating to it, even though I ain't grown, but I'm, I'm you know what I'm saying? Like, hey. I'm, I'm picking up the tones, I'm picking up the melody, I'm picking up the riffs that they're doing. I used to hum Michael Jackson songs. You know what I'm saying? Bone thugs. I used to hum until I learned the words. <laughs> and but that helped me to understand their, their rhythm dictation. It helped me to understand how they actually form their songs. You get what I'm saying? And I think that helps me today. You get what I'm saying? And I've never been a, a closed in cat. I always, you know, whether they from the East Coast, West Coast, Midwest, down south. It, it didn't matter to me if it if if it had something that caught my attention. I'm jammed. Right. <laughs> I was never right. biased. Right. So, you know, I just love music, country too, <laughs> rock. Yeah, yeah. I, I take Motley Crue. You know what I'm saying? I, I listen to Motley Crue. Uh, it's it's a lot of people. I like Dirks Bentley. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I I'm, I'm a lover of music, not yeah. just one genre. Good music is good music. It, man. Real talk. Yeah. So, That's what's up, man. Oh, well, yeah. I love the philosophy that y'all have here as well. Like, let's talk a little bit about this jar. This jar right here, you know, I know, uh, you know, the power of our words is very, you know, very important. You yeah. know, and sometimes we don't realize, you know, some of the things that we're saying and how we're programming ourselves. So talk a little bit about the jar and why it's so full there. Wait, wait, <laughs> you know what? It ain't, it ain't, it ain't as full as it was. You know what I mean? It's a progress. We, we done, we done it out, you know what I'm saying, and, and it's working its way back up. So but it, less money in there is better. It, it, well, well. The fact that we on, set, on on another round ain't that good. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? It's, it's the, the the thing about it is, you know what I'm saying? Change the mind, change the outcome. You know what I'm saying? Our outer reflect, our, our outer appearance, our outer lives, our outer shells, our everyday life is a reflection of our beliefs. So you feel me? When you tell yourself stuff like, "Well, I'm gonna try to do it," what well, you leaving room for failure? Mm -hmm. No, nah, tell yourself you're gonna do it. You know what I'm saying? So that's where the no confidence jar come into play. That, that to me, that's telling me, oh nah, I ain't got faith that I don't, I don't wholeheartedly have faith that I'm gonna get this completed. So I tell myself all the time, man, I'm, a, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. Er, er, man, so many people tell you, I say, I'm gonna make this beat in 20 minutes, and I say it with conviction because I mean that. And the more I tell myself that, the more I tell myself that, the more I'm training my mind. And it's it's so many people that don't witness that did that when I when I first told them I'd be like I'm gonna make a beat they'd be like man you crazy you making these in twenty minutes you crazy and I'd be like I right, sit back and enjoy the show and I sit there and drum and the thing about it is I'm gonna drum the beat in twenty minutes all the while I'm not gonna be just sitting here focused on the, I'm gonna sit here I'm gonna clown with you I'm gonna joke with you but in twenty minutes that thing gonna be done. <laughs> you make beats in twenty minutes. Twenty, I beats in twenty minutes, verses in twenty minutes. It, you feel me? It, it's just, but see, again, it's because I've already trained my mind mm -hmm. that that's what it's going to be. So that's that's where that jaw come in, and it's not just exclusive to the camp. It's it, anybody. I, I let anybody that come in and run a session. I let them know, hey, we got one rule in here. Yeah. We don't use these type of words. You use these type of words, you all die. Yeah. You just had to check me. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, and, and it's and it's, it's not it's nothing for me. You get what I'm saying? It's because I want to see everybody be the best selves that they can be. You know what I'm saying? So I I be green to say, okay, well I'm gonna let you pass this time. Nah, if I let you pass, then I'm allowing you to 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 think that failure is okay. That I'm gonna let you. Which you know we gotta fail to succeed, but you gotta put in your mind that so, you gonna do. Right. The more you tell right. yourself you're gonna do, eventually you're gonna start say, stop saying, Well, I'm gonna try. You're right. gonna you gonna start, man. I'm finna go do this. I'm finna go do and that's what's gonna happen. So that's the whole point of the uh no confidence, y'all. Yeah, that's what's up, yeah, man. Uh, that's what's up. Nah, that's that's brilliant though. I like that. Yeah, yeah. man. So uh, I know you have a new album. About to drop, talk about that a little bit. Strictly business. You know what I'm saying? How how that came about, it's really a project for it's like I I done shown a lot of people love. You get what I'm saying? They they down bad. I'm I'm no. They need it. I'm no. You get what I'm saying? And I've been put in situations where now, nah, okay, I can use a helping hand. 
Well, where everybody at? That, that I was there for. You know what I'm saying? So, okay. And, it, and it's not an anger thing. It's an understanding thing. You get what I'm saying? Because I understand don't nobody owe me nothing. In that same breath, I don't owe anybody anything. So it's like, okay, it's strictly business now. You know what I'm saying? I, I've shown the love, and I've seen that there was no love being reciprocated. You know what I'm saying? I can't, that, you know, that's what, at the concept of the project. Now, I can't, you feel me? This, this guy right here, you feel me? I know we ain't got him on camera right now, but you know what I'm saying? Love him to death. You feel me? Because he got a heart of gold, and it's genuine. You feel me? And, and I can honestly say, you know, if if ever somebody I felt, you know, beside my, my big brother Pokey, if ever I felt somebody that was genuine that I could really come, and he'll tell you I come to him about everything because I know, I'm again, I'm a God, but I ain't God. You know what I'm saying? I'm flawed. So, you know what I'm saying? Some things I miss out, but again, I had the understanding that, you know, the love wasn't real, so okay, what's well, strictly business now? I'm all out of favors. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And and it and I have to battle with myself at times just for the simple fact that's just me. That's who I am. I love being able to help. You know, if you need if you need and I got, I got you. You know what I'm saying? But again, being put in a position where I was homeless, you get what I'm saying? And, and don't get me wrong. Again, <laughs> bro, I sent that that invitation. You get what I'm saying? I'm like, no, nah, I'm good, bro. But and that's where the whole concept of the project came from. I just released uh, In My Zone, which I released that on my daughter's birthday, mm -hmm. June 26th. It was a single. Yeah, it's one for the money, money. two for them hoes. I got three blunts to scroll. Yeah, them four quarters was off. Bitch, I'm off in my zone. Yeah, I'm feeling myself. I bet you bitch never met a nigga really is myself. See, it's one for the money, two for them hoes. I got three blunts to scroll. Yeah, them four quarters was off. Bitch, I'm off in my zone. Yeah, I'm feeling myself. I bet you bitch never met a nigga really is myself. And I said, you know what? I'm going to start dropping projects and singles just to have a special meaning to them on dates of either my kids' birthdays or my nieces' or nephews' birthdays just to have a more of a special meaning. Now, uh, how much work really goes into putting, putting like an album together? And like, is this your first album? Like, How many albums have you dropped before this? I want to say this is my, first, my fourth album being distributed, to be fourth? honest. Okay. Cause I had Eclipse, and then I had I took a break, and that's when Bright Lights and Sunset came out, and then I did Barbershop. Yeah, this is my fourth. Uh, which I've had other albums I just didn't put in my, <laughs> and I've had other mixtapes and didn't put. You feel me? But as far as being distributed, yeah, this is my my fourth one, and it's crazy because I got stuff already ready for, you know what I'm saying, later on, but, man, it's, it's, this project, man, I remember we was riding, we were riding back from Orlando, <laughs> and, you know, I, I'm so, I, I have to slow down sometimes, because I'd be like, okay, this done, move on to the next song, okay, this done, move on to the next song, and Earn done, done put on the, uh, uh, what song was it, uh, 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 it was it Grammy or Die, I want to say, yeah, it was Grammy or Die. And I'm like, damn, I forgot all about this, man. Man, I'm tripping. <laughs> I said, man, I'm tripping, man. I need to go ahead and bring this <laughs> But, yeah, man, uh, as, as far as what goes into it, man, it's just uh, everybody has their own process. So it, there's no right or wrong way. But as, as far as me, you know, I like to have a concept. I'm, I'm conceptual, so I like to, like, Again, I already knew my project was going to be strictly business before I even made one song. You know what I'm saying? So that's when I came up with titles and concepts that fit into that, gotcha. that category. Okay. So I got a song called Time Clock. You know what I'm saying? I got a song called Orientation. Got a song called uh, Strictly Business. Got a song called 5K because companies have 5K. You get what I'm saying? So I'm the type that like to think it out before I even move forward. And then from there... It's, it's 
it's amazing because a lot of times I don't even be meaning to, to make the song. It's just I'm I'm making a beat, and next thing you know, a hook is playing in my head, and I'm like, oh, okay. I go lay the hook down, and psh, all right, now I got the song. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But right. and then and then as far as like what goes into putting together an album, I mean, you gotta. You gotta think the the production, which is the beats, the uh, recording, the mixing, mastering, the the uh, marketing of it, the artworks, the the social medias, the, the it's so much the licensing that the, it's a lot that people really don't understand that really goes into putting the album together. I'm, you know tired, what I'm, you, I'm just getting tired of hearing you say it. <laughs> I'm like, shoot, man, it's ain't for everybody. It's, but it, 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 it's a lot. But again, like I say, when you love it, man, you right. you you drill down. Like you feel me? Like I say, Ern then told me, man, bro, you need to get your rest. <laughs> you hear what I'm saying? Yeah, but I gotta get this done. I gotta get it. You feel me? Like you know? And I and I, I, I had to talk with my girl this morning. Like, hey, I mean, I I said I'm gonna take a break after uh after I get this done. I I take a day or two. <laughs> but Again, when you love something so much, you know what I'm saying? To the point, you know, my daughter, my daughter at the age of eight put out a song and Sony picked it up. You know what I'm saying? She put out a Christmas song, Sony picked it up. My first song, the first song on my project, Orientation, my son at six years old produced that beat. Mm. You get what I'm saying? My daughter now at 11 is working on another song called I'm Poppin'. My son at the age seven is working on a song called Blah, Blah, Blah. You get what I'm saying? It's, it's, is I, I and I love it because I'm not forcing them to do this. You get know what I'm saying? These are things they see daddy doing and they like I, I you know what I'm saying? I I like that. I wanna do it too. And and I even got a song about being a superhero, not on this project, this on something that they might not get till twenty twenty two. You know what I'm saying, to be honest, but uh it's called superhero and it's about and it's talking about how I'm going to be that superhero that they want to see so they can see a superhero something that they can be. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, deep. it's deep. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So a, a, a lot of motivation and drive, and you'll see in, my, in, in the Strictly Business Project, a lot of motivation and drive is my children because I talk about it a lot. Between God and my kids, I talk about that a lot on that. So. What's up, man? I think it's always a beautiful thing, you know, when your kids look at what you do and they want to do what you do. You know, because a lot of times like, kids look at their parents. I don't want to do it. Do yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so I think that's pretty cool in itself. Well, I think I think I think what it is, they get to be the cool kids. Uh, you know what I'm saying? They get yeah. because every kid would love. What kid would love to say, "Oh, I was in the studio." So after my daughter did the, um, which which the funny thing, I'm I'm jealous of my baby. I ain't gonna say jealous, but I'm like <laughs> I'm like, damn, baby girl. You know what? She got submitted to a DJ pool out of forty five thousand songs. And she broke the top 100. Man. <laughs> I uh, say, Granny, do you realize what you just, that was, you, you feel me? But after that, she had kids coming to her from school. Hey, I got this song. I want to, hey, I got this song. You get what I'm saying? And it, it's so funny. And I'm like, so she come to me, Daddy, so-and-so came to me talking about they want to, I'm like, oh, yeah? <laughs> oh, you're a little celebrity, huh? <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? And she don't, she don't think that man. She 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 well she well grounded. She she just okay. I talked to my daddy and we can see you know what I'm saying. She just like the the fact of to her it's creating memories with daddy. Right, that that's right. all it is. It's nothing more. Beautiful, you know what man. I'm saying? So Beautiful. even my three. Well, she just turned four. My two. She's even on the course. You know what I'm saying? So it's like my my five year old son came in and. And surprised me when he came in and just walked in and went straight to the booth and put the headphones and went to freestyle. And I said, what the hell? Did he just really? Oh, and I got it recorded. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just it's just amazing because it showed me how much my kids really pay attention to me and how influential I am to them. And again, that's my purpose. Right. To show them that they can do anything they want to do. Now, it don't have to be music. You know what I'm saying? It really doesn't. Whatever you want, I'm gonna support you. But I mean, it is special that it <laughs> is music. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man. I, I, I wouldn't have it no other way to be honest. That's what's up, yeah. man. What, what else you got coming up? Because I know you always working on something. 
Any more upcoming <laughs> projects? Uh, well, I mean, I got Strictly Business. I, uh, me and Ern, we ain't set a date yet. Well, well let, 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 it, we in this camp. When that Moon P and that Florida boy ain't drunk. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I'm telling you, man, it's, it's a pleasure to work. Like, how we just bounce off of each other. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, my God. You feel me? We complete opposites. It, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we are complete opposites. But when you put us together, good God dang, man, I'm trying to live in McCullough, you know what I mean? But, like, for real, man, like, it's, 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 that, it's hard to even put into words how, how, how magical that project is, man, like, people gonna be in for a treat when they get that, but not only that, uh, you know, we got the Four Quarters of Greatness project coming, and, you know, these don't have dates on them yet, Four Quarters should, you know, I take the the heat. You feel me? Four quarters should have been out in in uh, November last year, and it keep getting pushed back, pushed back. Not because of lack of songs. It's done. It been done. <laughs> mm -hmm. But you know what I'm saying? It's just about getting everything right. On you feel me? Uh, I think it was a a, a, a interview where Rick Ross say, instead of getting that fast, I'd rather do it right. And take as much time as I need. And I can't, I can't say the exact words, but and that's what it is. Like you know what I'm saying. So you got the four quarters. You got the the me and Earn project uh, singles. Man, I'm even doing one where I'm taking artists acapellas, industry artists acapellas, drumming beats to them, and then putting the verse on there. Mm. So it's like. Again, we test limits only to prove it ain't none. You know what I'm saying? When you love what you do, man, you you always looking for some new, fun and exciting thing to do. Right now, uh, who are who are some of the um, artists that now? Obviously, you just talked about Florida Boy Earn. You know, uh, oh yeah, so oh yeah, Earn. Yeah, out of here, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, who are some of the artists that you've had the pleasure of working with, man, over over your career? Man, you know, I as a as an engineer and and produce it. I've had the pleasure of working with a lot of great talent. You know what I'm saying? I work with Rob D. You know what I'm saying? R.I.P. to him, but he's a great talent that I got to work with. You know, Porch Boy B.Y., uh, T. Red, uh, Fat Boy Brand, which, you know, now I'm going through the quarters, but I'm just, you feel me? It's, it's, it's so many to name, you know, because I don't work with people from IBC. I don't work with people... My 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 uh boys up in Maryland, uh, you know, F O G. Shout out to them, a uh, family of generals. You know what I'm saying? I don't work with people in Texas. I don't work with. It's it's so it's man. I I I probably be here till the next set till the next season start they, if I started working. But and and it's I'm grateful that I have worked with all these people. You get what I'm saying? I right. even in there I got a, a wall of fame. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. With the signatures of, of of people that that came through here, but. Man, just the the diverseness of of the people that I've come in contact with and been able to work with, man, is is a because I I feel like I, I I absorb a piece of everybody that I work with, not necessarily saying that oh I'm taking from, but even my six year old son, I learned something from him when he was drumming a beat, like oh I never thought about that. You know what I'm saying? Now a lot of cats would be too prideful to say something like that, yeah. But my six year old son taught me something. You get know what I'm saying? So. I keep my I keep my mind open for anything, you know what I'm saying, from anyone. You know what I'm saying? God sends messages from the most unlikely sources to you. You get right. what I'm saying? So I don't turn my nose up to nobody, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So so I I've, I've been real fortunate to work with a, a, a you know what I'm saying. Shout out to Princess Kayla, that's my daughter, I work with her too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, but no, nah, for real, man, I, I uh man it, it's it's a long list. I'm gonna just say that you know what I'm saying. It's and, and I've had the pleasure of opening it up for industry artists like Luane, Briscoe, Trina. Uh, you feel me, Young? Jo the the list goes on. I I man, I, I I've been blessed again. It's not about the money. It's it's about doing what I love, and I've been real blessed and fortunate to do what I love. That's what's up, man. Not too many people can say that. R real talk, you know. So that that's what's up now. Uh, artists that are in the industry right now. Jayco, 
I almost feel like I want to go die line, die line, <laughs> die line, die line. Die line. Uh, J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar. Uh, I like Lil Baby. I like uh, Derez Deshaun. I like uh, T.I. Man, it, it's hard. I know I just named five, but I'm, I'm still ready to keep going. Like, it's, it's so... It's so much out there, you feel me? And I, and I remember at one point I I looked down on certain things like, I don't know, mumble rap. Uh, uh. <laughs> but then I changed I changed my thought. It ain't mumble rap. It's melodic hip hop. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Change it from and, and and you know it. That's because I had a a, a different perspective on it. Like just because they go has a, have a different style of what I'm used to, and sh and just like I said, I absorb from, so I saw, I said, man, let me stop being a hater, and let me go, <laughs> yeah. I, I ain't too sure in been, I was being a hater, you know what I'm saying, and I started listening to some things these cats were saying, I'm like, man, they actually saying some stuff, right, so I, I stopped being a hater, and, and absorb some of that, uh, some right. of that, some of that, uh, sauce. <laughs> right. right. Gee. Hey, if it's working for somebody, hey. it's for it's a reason, you, you know? You feel me? Yeah. Right. But, you know, I put my own spin on, you feel me? I won't, because I never just copy somebody. But if I've seen the future, it's because I stood on the shoulders of giants, meaning, you know what I'm saying, those that did it before me, I can learn from them and turn something into my own and progress it myself. So I'm, I'm constantly learning from those that's coming up now, the, those that came up way back then. You know right. what I'm saying? Now, J. Cole was the first name that you J. said. Cole. Like, J. Like, Cole. what is it about J. Cole that would make you want to work with him? Man, his his the substance in his music. Like, you can tell he, he you feel me? A lot of cats are followers. A lot of cats are followers. Oh, shoot him up, bang, bang. I got to I gotta rap this because that's what's I J. Cole stayed true to himself, man. You know what I'm saying? He's a true hip-hop artist. You know what I'm saying? It ain't all about the glitz and the glamour and the flash and the, none of that. He going to give you knowledge and, and, and wisdom within his music. He going to tell you, he going to give you stories. He going to let you know that he bought that too now. <laughs> but, you know what I'm saying? It's just everything he stand for. You know what I'm saying? I remember watching interviews from J. Cole and how he was talking about how he don't value money. He value love. You know what I'm saying? Because it, whatever you value... You continue to chase. So if you're chasing money, chasing money, you're never going to be happy. Right. Because you got to keep. But if you're chasing love, mm -hmm. once you find it, you, you get what I'm saying? You're you content. You're happy. So it's like I, I love where his mind frame is at. So yeah. I just, from from the first album, I, I've yeah. been on J. Cole. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Let me hit it in the morning. <laughs> and the dollar in the dream. The, the, oh, I need that. You know what I'm saying? Like I even make a reference to... Uh, on my strictly business project, I say, uh, gotta say, who that, who that, you know what I'm saying? I, I make a reference to J. Cole on my project. Right. Like, real talk. Like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not a fan of many. I'm a fan of J. Cole. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, shout out to J. Cole. Yeah. Outcast. I know they not really out there like that right now. <laughs> but ain't no way I can let this go without mentioning Outcast. Like, you feel me? There's no way. There's no way, I, and, I, and I, I ought to slap myself for not even mentioning them in the beginning, but they, their impact on music as far as Southern hip hop and what they did for us and how they, you feel me, that that, that infamous Source Award speech, you know what I'm saying, brought a lot of attention down to Southern artists, so ain't no way I can't even mention the outcast. I can't believe I ain't even say that, but you yeah. know what I'm saying, shout out Big Boy Dre. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Creatives, man. They 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 creative. I I, I love that. Like That's what's really. up, man. Now this, this may be a tough question, but I gotta put you on the spot here, man. All time top five. All time top five. Rappers. Yeah. My all time favorite or who I think is all time cause it, it's hard to say that it depends on the criteria. You get what I'm saying? Now if I go on my all time favorite, top five. Now, is groups considered one? No. Okay, so it got to no, be no. one artist yeah. in the yeah. group. Okay, so we're going Tupac. Number one. <laughs> on top. That's what I'm that's, talking about. Boy. That's my favorite. That's, that's what that, I'm talking that's, about. Boy. He has always been my favorite. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Tupac, T.I. T.I. number two? 
It, it, it ain't no, 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 no after out of, after one after one no, 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 okay no, no, okay. Order. okay okay two Andre three thousand okay I I gotta go Andre okay. three thousand that one J Cole okay uh now I know I know a lot of people probably expect Jay Z uh -uh, no <laughs> this, 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 this this my top five not y'all top five you know what I'm saying so two Andre three thousand <laughs> J. Cole, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh mystical, to... mystical, because with his raspiness and, and his energy, but he still had some lyrics for you. He put me on the spot with that. Jay-Z up in there somewhere? You, you no, the no, nah, Jay-Z ain't going in the top five. <laughs> Big ain't going in my favorite five. There's <laughs> <laughs> only four. There's only four, but... but <laughs> If I have to play in film, I say, uh, I gotta put Eminem in there. I love, I, I love, I love, I love Eminem. It, it's just hot, his wordplay. Yeah. And I love word. If, if you listen to my music, I love playing with words. Yeah, yeah. So I gotta put him in, you know what I'm saying? My, my, my favorite five. I mean, he kinda got watered down later on, and you feel me? But when he came out with the Slim Shady and the Marshall Mathers, that, man, them things, that was straight gas, yeah. right? So I got to put him up there. So I, I get that. There we go. Tupac, T.I., J. Cole, Mystical. No, no, no. You had under 3,000 in there. Oh, shoot. Oh, did I? Did I? Did I? Oh, I messed up. I messed up. Tupac, under 3,000. J. Cole. J. Cole, Mystical, and, and uh, Eminem. 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 That, that, is, my, that, that, is, my that is the most interesting top five I've ever heard. Mm -hmm. I, have to get, I have to tell you that. Very interesting. Like I said, I'm the, I, I'm a fan of music, not just you. one. You feel me? So, you. you feel me? Uh, oh, oh, oh! I'm slacking. I'm slacking. I'm slacking. Moopy, Moopy. <laughs> 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 I'm slacking. That's that was, that was my top five right there. I'm slacking. Moopy, Florida boy. Moopy, Florida boy. Fat boy, bread. There we go. <laughs> 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 no, but yeah, man, they're my, they're my, I think my most influential five. I you know what I'm saying? Like, really like the influential, yeah, I get that to you. For yeah, sure. most yeah. influential Absolutely. five. Absolutely. All right, man. Hey, well, what are, what are you looking to accomplish in the next, you know, one to, one to two years? Again, just to serve out my purpose. Whatever God got for me, you know what I'm saying? And I know my destiny is in my hand because God don't want me to fail. He want me to. But at the end of the day, I have to serve the purpose that he has for me, which I feel is to inspire. So I, I believe through music, I will be able to inspire people. So in the next two, three years, I got to start with my kids. You know what I'm saying? And inspire them and help them to understand that, hey, I got to get this Grammy. Point blank period. And I know people probably like, oh, he crazy. He think he go, Psh, all right. Yeah, I'm going to get that Grammy. <laughs> and, and I say it with conviction because I mean it. Right. Do, do I need to? Do I need to? Grammy, Grammy, Grammy. <laughs> I, I mean it. Like, bro, bro, I tell you, I, I mean that. You get what I'm saying? Like, and and it's not about just getting a award. It's about the fact that showing my kids once again, I wanted that. I was able to obtain that. So what do you want? Because you can too. That's my whole. That's my next two. That's my next forever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? As long as I do that and show my kids that I'm I'm good. That's what's up, man. Real talk. That's what's up. One last thing I wanted to ask you. I want to kind of take it back to you dropping the album and everything. So with this new, um, like in this new world, digital world and everything, you have a lot of different streaming platforms and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So like, how how do you go about getting songs and albums like on streaming platforms and things of that nature? Oh well, you know we go we go through a distributor. And, you know what I'm saying, it's like the distributor pretty much middleman it. You know what I'm saying? We get it to the distributor, the distributor get it to the outlets. And, you know, put it on the sites and platforms. But then you have stuff like uh, BMI, you know, for your performance royalties. You got stuff like Media Base that a lot of people don't pay attention to for scanning like radios and stuff like that. You got uh, stuff like Nielsen that scan your plays and, uh, and your impact for Billboard charting and all. It's you know what I'm saying. It's it's a lot of things to submit to that a lot of people don't really pay attention to. You yeah. get what I'm saying? And they leaving a lot of money on the table, leaving a lot of you know what I'm saying possibilities on the table. 
by not doing their homework to find these things. So if, if you if you don't know, now you know. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you get you a distributor and they'll get you on stuff like whether it's distro kid, whether it's we go through one RPM ourselves. Uh, but you know what I'm saying? Get your distributor. And How do you go about getting a distributor? It, 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 Google. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Google, Google tell you everything, man. Like for real, Google tell you everything. But you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, <laughs> it's so many people that's there because I, I just off my searches, I seen uh, Distro Kid, I seen the Orker, I seen uh, this one called Ditto. It's so many distributors out there now. You know what I'm saying? So. All you got to do is just type in music distribution. And then you have to reach out to them, and then they have to want your music. Over. No, not necessarily. Okay. Because some, some, some will say, okay, if you pay this, then you keep all your royalties. and then da, 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 da. Some will say, okay, for a go to the upfront fee, and we'll go ahead and distribute it, but we're going to get this percentage. You know what I'm saying? I mean, to be honest, any distributor is going to take anybody. Cause you know what I'm saying, if it's a numbers game, if I if I sign if I get a million people to distribute through me, somebody gonna make some money out of it. Right, right, right. It ain't it ain't hurt. All I gotta do is just load it on. So it's right. a numbers game. You know what I'm saying? After I load it on, psh, all they gotta do is sell. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The marketing and promotion is on on whoever signed it up for this distribution. The distributor ain't responsible for that. They just responsible for getting it to the outlet. So that's and I think that's a Another place where I figure, feel artists fall short because they think, okay, I got it on the platforms now. Oh, I'm about to blow. Yeah, you about, yeah, you about to blow. I right. blow a lot of hot air thinking you finna blow. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? You got you to gotta market and promote yourself. You got to put money behind yourself. If you ain't got the money, you got to put the time and effort behind yourself. You got to be a real go-getter in, in music, man, because it's, it's, it ain't easy. You know what I'm saying? But... What, uh, and again, if, if money is your number one objective, you might well let it go. You know what I'm saying? You got you to gotta find your why. Why are you doing what you're doing? Because if it's just money, I ain't going to hold up too long. You got to have yeah. purpose. And just like I say, my purpose, my kids, inspiration to the next generation or, or anybody that God see fit for me to inspire. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I go hard. That's what's up, man. I think you've inspired us all in this show today, man. I've, I've learned a lot. Like, this is, like, good and loaded stuff, man. You know, I may decide I want to be a rapper one day. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, you know, you know, you, you, <laughs> hey, you already know. Get at me. We're going to come and be. You know what I'm saying? Get so, it. Get it. Get it. You ain't know hey, 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 started rapping yet. Now, you ain't saying, you ain't saying this to actors. Let's get, let's get us a real movie together. Let's, let's, let's put that together. I'll do the soundtrack. You do the acting, and we're going to make it one monumental project all together. We're going to keep it in-house. We're going to talk about that for sure, man. Definitely. Future, I see Definitely. a lot of good things in the future. I'm telling you. Yeah, man. Well, uh, yeah, man. Well, uh, go ahead and look at the camera right here and uh, tell people where they can follow you, man. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> you can follow me to heaven because I'm a god. <laughs> but if you want to follow me on social media... You follow me uh Instagram at moonp underscore on underscore the underscore. <laughs> a lot of underscore <laughs> track. You know what I'm saying? Uh Instagram, Moon P on the track, Facebook at Moon P on the track. Yeah, hey, just Google Moon P on the track. Four quarters of greatness. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking about changing my name to Four Quarter God. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you feel me with my four quarter brother over here. You know what I'm saying? So real talk, but yeah, man. Moon P on the track, man. If you need beats, moonpeonthetrack.com. Uh, if, if you need to get my number, I ain't giving that out. But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you can hit the social medias, and, and I'm, I'm, I promise you, you, you message me. I, I'm going to message you back. Moon P Music LLC at gmail.com at block one records. It's, it's too many goddamn on things. I, I'm just not realizing, damn, I signed up for all that. <laughs> you can find you a lot of different places. Yeah, yeah. But that just goes to show how much, like, when I say it ain't easy, like, you gotta put yourself out there, oh, man. Yeah. Like, it's crazy. Oh, YouTube, too. You know what I'm saying? Hey, check out the uh, In My Zone video coming soon. By the time you see this, it's probably gonna be out. 
And uh, back on my ish, I ain't gonna, I'm trying not to cuss right now. Oh, I owe a dollar because I said trying. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? I follow my own rules. You feel me? I am not exempt. So, but yeah, check me out. You feel me? Let me find this dollar real quick. <laughs> 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 I, got, I, got one in, I got one in my safe. I got, I got the dollar. I got, I got the dollar. <laughs> you know what I mean? For real. I'm gonna, I stick by my own rules. Hey, man. Well, I appreciate this interview, man. It's been I, a pleasure. Again, I appreciate you, you having me. Definitely appreciate you having me. Industry and, um, you know, I see a lot of big things coming, you know, for you in the, in the, in the current and the, the near future, <laughs> you know. And, um, you know, I'm going to keep supporting you guys, you know. So, uh, appreciate it, man. Appreciate hey, you doing the show. Yeah, and I'm so, going to be and I'm gonna be checking out that movie on Amazon. Hey, yeah, 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 real talk. Do that. All right. Plug, yeah. Real talk. Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of Limelight Conversations. Your host, Troy D. Williams. Join us next time for another special guest. And remember, it goes down in the limelight. Be on a track. I don't know where I'm going on this path I take. The only thing I do know is that I'm going to walk on faith. Yeah, I don't know where I'm going on this path I take. The only thing I do know is that God going to lead my way. Here beside me just to remind me that everything happened.